To be committed, you have to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Ephesians 6 verse 10. You have to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. To be committed, you have to continually know the word of God. Study it so that you grow thereby. First Peter 2 verse 2. Because it's by constantly studying the word, and part of studying the word also includes hearing the word like this, and also you going home, studying the word, taking notes here, and going there to do your own study, and all of that together will lead to spiritual growth. Many people are growing in age, nobody can debate that. They are growing in age, but not in spirit. They have been praying, they have been calling a pastor, Every time they want to drink a cup of tea, they pray for a pa they ask for a pastor to pray for them. One year later, they are still needing a pastor to pray for them before they, they can drink tea. No growth. No growth. There's some things you begin to do because we are growing spiritually. Some people have been going to church for the past 10 years, 5 years, 20 years. They are going to church. And five years, 10 years, 20 years later, they are still going to church. They still haven't become church. Mm. Mm. Whereas we are supposed to be church. You can see what the world is trying to do to our faith. You can see what they did in France. All in the name of Olympics. True Christians, they are doing what they have to do. Some people are boycotting the whole Olympics because that platform is a, is a demonic platform that they used to open it. So any true Christian who understands these things will say, well, all my training, all my efforts, all my waking up 4 a.m. or whatever to train non-stop for four years so that I can take the Olympics and go for gold. Those, those, those... Those bad, dangerous people in France, they messed it up. And yet a true Christian will walk away from the whole thing. Because they can't be celebrating something that they got on the platform of unrighteousness and ungodliness. There's some things you will have to do <laughs> and let go of just because you're a Christian. Mm. And people will then know that you are a Christian. Mm. Because the world is not going to give you a chance to psychedelically choose. You will not have to choose by force. The kingdom of God is suffering violence, mm. and the violent are taking it by force. Mm. That is where commitment comes in. We go to the word of God, which is the book of life. Jesus himself said in John 6, 6, 63, the words that I speak to you, towards the end of that verse, they are spirit and they are life. Amen. Every time you take the word of God, you spend time yourself alone. You are, you are going to the word of life. Amen. When you know that word, you are knowing life. Amen. All of the word of God is God's mind, God's heart. God's intention, God's purpose. So the more you know the word, you, the more you know God. Mm. You will never, you will never find a Christian who is increasing in the knowledge of God, running after a man of God, woman of God, man of God, eh, man of God, can't do anything with that. No, mm. come on. It may look like that at the beginning. You can't be looking like that one year later. Amen. It is impossible. Unless you have not been doing these basic things that we keep on repeating, repeating because we don't want to preach a different gospel, is there. But we understand, so we repeat. Jesus was repeating himself. God repeated himself from Genesis to Revelation. God was preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Even before Jesus Christ came as man, it was there. For those who study, it's there from Genesis to Revelation. So repetition is what we do. When it comes to the word of God, we repeat it. Because if you don't feel like you need to repeat it, you will start speaking your own words. Mm. 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 And that is part of the problem today in people's lives. Mm. 